Oh, it's incredible. We set out to win the series, but to get a whitewash in New Zealand against New Zealand, a very strong New Zealand team, um, you know, I couldn't be more proud of the team. You know, all the planning, all the hard work has paid off and um, yeah, just incredibly tough for everyone and, and, you know, for the team as well. It's been it's been incredible. Pretty happy. I'm just glad our skipper gave me another over after I went for 17 in my first two overs. But no, very happy with the team's performance. I think coming to New Zealand, winning three love, um, something very special. I think we need to treasure this and and just take the confidence into our T20s. Yeah, look, the composure and the maturity that the batters first of all showed was incredible. And then I I know I can, I can count on my bowlers. And even though today wasn't the best day for our pace bowlers, they still stuck to their guns. And um, it's nice. I'm, I'm spoiled for choice when it comes to my bowlers. And, you know, Suneki stepped up today with the ball, which I'm really proud of. And I'm, I'm really glad that she, she got the six for. She's very successful as a bowler. And, you know, I think she's got a record. Two six fers, only bowler in the world. So, um, yeah, it just shows you the quality. The team performed excellent the bowlers was outstanding our fielding was great today again so um, yeah hopefully we can take this form into the t20s the first game was great but after that it probably went downhill from there but I just want to try and get as consistent as possible and I think that is my aim for the T20s as well making sure that I get a high strike rating but just being consistent and I think if I get consistent that will help the team and hopefully we can win a few games. I think momentum wise it's amazing but look 50 overs in T20 is a total different ball game so we have to go out strong we know they're going to come out strong against us you just have Sophie Devine they came off from an exceptional big bash so uh, we know they're going to come hard and um, we just have to be prepared in all forms. Yeah, definitely. I think ODI series is done now, so we need to bank that. And we have a T20 World Cup coming up, so the five T20s, I think, is definitely preparation for that. So we kind of have a huge, a huge mindset, you know, to switch and to T20 now. But I think it's it's the fun part of cricket. Our coach calls it the pajama party. So we're just going to have some fun. I think we're going to try different combinations, but still, obviously, looking for that win. The more we win here, the more we do good. I think we'll just continue that and take that confidence into, you know, into Australia when we get to the World Cup. Yeah, it's all about growing as a team. We're looking at the 2021 World Cup and we need to grow as a, an ODI side, but we're going to put the ODIs aside now. It's full head into the T20s now and we need to make sure that our plans are spot on. We know how strong New Zealand is when it comes to T20 cricket and how explosive and powerful they are. And we know it's going to be a very tough series and um, yeah, hopefully you know we can come out on top there as well. But um, we also keep in mind that we want to make sure all our combinations are ready and rearing for the World Cup.